Welcome back, this is Bella Scoopa with more Let's Play Diablo 3. I'm joined, as always, by my barbarian. We got the Enchantress with us. Scoundrel, Templar, Neck the Brawler, uh, Leah, somewhere around here. Squirt's still with us. Doesn't spin like the other squirt, unfortunately. Uh, when we last left off, we were back in the hidden camp. I did get one new piece of equipment, and that is this axe. Uh, it changed one that was 24.5 damage per second and that was pretty much it so a little bit faster well not faster but a little bit more damage now so let's continue on we need to find the Kasim outpost oh there it is I had the waypoint there when we last left off now let's see what the hell's going on here dudes no oh, there it is it's too quiet it is kind of quiet what are with the guards? You guys don't have anything to say? Ooh, guard supplies. Guards orders? Captain of the guard, you are hereby ordered to send a band of your most loyal men to secure the Kasim outpost. Control of the city hangs by a thread. The commoners are becoming restless, and it is imperative that we subdue them. Remain vigilant, for there may already be an outsider within our borders looking to stir up trouble. A legible signature, that's weird. Uh, the Enchantress said that we should be on our guard here. I wonder if she knows something we don't. We've been safe ever since the Imperial Guard came. Yeah, sounds fine. If you need a place to camp until the gates are open, there is room in our cellars, safe from the desert heat. Okay, sounds the good. The Imperial Guard will keep us safe. Apparently the Imperial Guard seems to, to have a good reputation here. I don't know why you guys are even guarding that door. I don't think there's a way. Well, I think that's the way out, actually. Is that... Is that a little rat? Oh! My bad. <laughs> How you doing, Lieutenant? Open the gate. I must get to Alcarnas. You must be mad. But if you're intent on rushing headlong to your death, talk to Captain David down in the command post. He's got the gate key. Okay, so that will lead us where we need to go. We need to talk to uh, David, I guess. Spelled funny, but still David. Lots of rats. Oh, of course she's here. Let me finish crushing these, and then we'll go talk here to her. Here you are, delivered unto me as a sacrifice, a gift from Lord Belial. It is you who are the sacrifice. He set you here as bait to lure me away from his treachery in Chaldeum. No! He would never betray me! Strike him down! Belial is the lord of lies, Magda. But here is the truth. You were dead the minute you killed Cain. Yes, you were. And away she goes, and I've already won. <laughs> Open the locked cages. We should probably... Not a moment oh. too soon. We did they plan to sacrifice us to Belial. Iron Wolves, take back the town! I'll be with you guys in a second. You you go ahead. I've got business to attend to. Uh, killed the disguised demons. Uh, in, in case you couldn't figure it out, this was all a trap. Everybody was, in fact, a minion, I guess you could say, of Magda. So let's kill them. There they are. Iron Wolves are helping, surely. Wonder what happened to my son. Your son probably, probably didn't make it. Captain David, he was actually here. What? I wonder what happened to my son. The demons came disguised as members of the Imperial Guard. The Imperial Guard was infiltrated by demons. It's weird. Or are they all demons? It's weird that they would actually make copies of the random people. Whatever. How you doing, David? As Magda reached Alcarnas. Yes, we've heard rumors of a horrible slaughter there. Then the sooner you open this gate, the sooner justice will be done. Open the gate for me! Step on... God, it squishes, squishes so much. Okay, we need to find Alcarnas, uh, which is Kane, through here somewhere. Soon your death will be avenged. Damn it. <laughs> we need to get Magda for that. That's one of our main goals now. Oh, God, we got the things going through the ground, through the sand. The freaking Bernoulli effect doesn't make sense to me ever like that. You just can't make it vibrate like that. 
It doesn't work. It doesn't work. I am getting a little bit of lag, and I have no idea why. <laughs> I wish I did. I wish I did. But it's not too bad. Maybe it's just a server or something. It's something outside of my control, because I know I'm not doing anything. Don't let the little ones hit you. They sting so, so bad. Anything good drop? No. Getting kind of disappointed here. What the hell was that anyway? Empowered Shrine. Isn't that more experience? No, resource regeneration. I'll take it, I guess. Not really what I was hoping for, though. Act 2, I must say, is rather um, long-ish. It's shorter than Act 1. And to be honest, it is one of my least favorites. Probably is my the, least the favorite. Ground. It's shaking! Oh, ah. Can't feel my legs! Oh, my legs! Yeah, you don't have legs, dude. Down, Stacy. Oh shit! Monstrous doom pressure. It didn't seem so monstrous to me. Look at his head go. Oh, that's awesome. Give me the mask. Ooh, hidden cash. I will take it. Look, just over there. I never imagined. Vortex. I was like, did I glitch or did I get pulled? I got pulled. Vortex. They suck you in. Do we have? Which is fine. Oh no. Whatever shall I do? They're getting close to me. They force me close to them. That is what I have trained for. <laughs> really? You trained for that? For vortex enemies? What a that's all that you really wanted to to train for. You, you didn't you, you overtrained, let me tell you. Let's just move on now. Uh, here in the Stinging Winds there should be a couple bonus dungeons. Uh, but like I said, the Second act, just like in Diablo 2, is uh, my least favorite. Uh, for whatever reason, the dungeon, or not the dungeons, the desert, it doesn't really appeal to me, I guess, in, in these games. And I think it has mostly to do with the types of enemies. Uh, the, uh, the flying enemies here, I've already forgotten their names. Uh, the ones that send up babies at you, the wasps, I think they are. Wasps. And then these lacunies. No. I don't know. But it's not too bad. It's not nearly as bad as I thought uh, Diablo's two, Diablo 2 second act was. But I find it weird that we more or less start with the same couple areas in, in both Diablo 2 and Diablo 3 uh, that we have. Right, Tristram? I mean, it's it's still Tristram in Diablo 2, even though you have to, like, warp there. You're still roundabouts Tristram. Uh, you're in the general vicinity. And then in Diablo 3, you are in Tristram. Uh. Your friend Tyria, the light of the Seraphim radiates from him. He was an angel, but he has fallen of his own will to aid us. A resplendent by many. Holy crap. God, these lacoon are huge compared to the, the women. Yes, I am blessed. Very, very blessed. So, yeah, you start in Tristram, and then in, in well, ish. In both games, the same look to it. Definitely the, the planes type look to it. Holy crap. Okay, stand away from that while I explode, and I'll deal with these guys with one shot each. Just about. And then we can come back and get what is here. And then you go east to the desert. I will say, though, that that is pretty much the only similarities, I guess. I mean, the rest of them aren't nearly as apparent, I would say. Let's go. Come on. Shit. So many babies. Dune stingers. She looks, she's almost dead. These things are tough if you if you don't dance around all the little babies. There we go. They, they can be pretty tough. You gotta be careful with those. Oh, uh, here's a tornado. Here's what happens when you step in it. it. It just hurts a little bit. It, I mean, it's not nearly that bad, but still, something you should avoid. It probably hurts more on the higher difficulties. I 
try my best to avoid it whenever I see it anyway, so I don't, I don't think I've seen <laughs> how much damage it does in, in Nightmare, because it, you know, it's not that hard to avoid. It's a slow-moving twister, you know what I mean? You can kind of tell where it's going to go. So many fallen, and no, like, shamans or overseers or anything like that. Just the regular fallen, which is weird and kind of disappointing. Sure, give me the bonus experience. We are getting close to the next level. We still get, we still get pretty good uh, levels through the experience here. It still goes pretty fast, and I am a fan of that. But like I said, the, the desert, for whatever reason, it, I don't know, I don't like it that much. But like I said, not nearly as, ma as bad as I didn't like Diablo 2's second act compared to the rest of it. And that could just be me. Uh, of course, Act 3 in Diablo 2 wasn't that great either, but it was weird being in the jungle like that. But this one, I think uh, there are some definite improvements in this game over the last game. And unfortunately, that does bring me to a topic that I've kind of put off for a while, and that is the issues with launch for this game. Uh, launch was was bad. There, there's no other way to put it. Uh, was it an utter disaster like everybody kind of talked about? You, you could say that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it was, you know, a, a huge disaster, but you know, if you, if you want to say that it was, I, I can't really argue against that. And here we have found the gates to Alcarnas. I believe this is just straight to Alcarnas right here. Um, for those of you that don't know, oh, I think I, no, no cutscene here, maybe a little later. For those of you who don't know, basically when this game came out, uh, they had a midnight, midnight launch, and of course in order to play this game, you need to be connected to their servers. You need to be connected to the Battle.net servers if you want to play the game. Uh, the problem was... More people decided to play this game on midnight than Blizzard expected. At least I hope that's what happened. Duriel, the Lord of Pain. Duriel is the twin of Andariel. I believe that they conspired together to assist Diablo in releasing Mephisto and Bale, though they had both supported the lesser evils in the past. The Lord of Pain was found guarding Bale's prison, the tomb of Talrasha when he was slain by heroes. So here you see the first time that they say heroes. Uh, of course, Duriel was guarding the tomb, just like Deckard said. And that was the end of Act 2 in Diablo 2. And we went in and kicked his ass. Oh, so Carnus is right there. So yeah, very, very close to Alcarnus. We'll get there in a second, though. Uh, but like I was talking about with launch, uh, more people, like I said, this is what I hope happened, otherwise things went way worse than I had thought. Uh, more people decide to play at midnight than Blizzard had anticipated. I think the number was around uh, like over 3 million, between 3 and 4 million people wanted to play on launch, and it pretty much crashed their sh servers. <laughs> so, if you had planned a party, or stream, or anything like that, you couldn't play. Uh, I tried to play at midnight. I, of course, couldn't. I ended up playing the next day. Oh, shit, we got Shower Bone here. Whoa. Hammer. Hammers to victory. S no, you're stunned again. Acolyte of Torment is down. So, I, I'm not going to sit here and say that it wasn't a deal. It was There was something to it that you couldn't play when the game originally came out. Uh, but I ended up playing the next day. It, it Help us! You can't leave us Yes! Here. We'll I let you all I out. I can't believe it's over. May your wounds heal swiftly, friend. Ah! Corrupt vessels! They must die so that I can free everybody else. They don't even fight back. Sure. I thought rescue would never... I wish we had come sooner. May your wounds heal swiftly, friend. Enlighten, there we go. Give me more experience. For killing these guys. I don't see him yet. 
Oh, here's the minion zone. There he is. What? He didn't get closer. Come on. Get over here so I can do that. There we go. Much better. Now we can deal with this guy. So, a lot of people were kind of turned off by that. I know that it was supposed to be a huge event. Uh, it set the record for most downloads in 24 hours. And like I said, I think it was between 3 and 4 million downloads in the first 24 hours. At least that's what the, the, the reports were. And... Therefore, the game pretty much crashed all the servers. Everybody's trying to play it. Of course, a lot of people are trying to download the game. It was like a 7.6 gig download. Uh, something ridiculous. Kind of worth it, though. <laughs> That's how I got the game, 7.6 gigs. I think it took me a few days uh, because of how those downloads typically work. And here's the last prisoner. Give me the experience. Flying bird. That's not good. Is that the Lair of the Witch? I don't think it is. So we can go in there. Oh, he transformed and then he gets his health back when he transforms? That's not cool. Uh, so yeah, launch was bad and I think, to be honest, a lot of people have negative impressions of the game based on the fact that they couldn't play in the first day that, like they wanted to, especially if they had planned an event around playing the game, like a LAN party or a stream. Or if there were reviewers out there that, you know, had a negative outlook on the game based on their experiences with, with the launch date. And I, I can't sit here and say that there weren't problems there, but I don't know. I've never been one to, to say I need to be the first to play the game in the first place. I was going to play it at launch, you know, at midnight Make because... Strange noises. Oh. I must practice my spells lest they fail me in the heat of battle. Do they really sound so odd? Yes. Because as you can see, you know, playing at midnight's not a not a big deal for me. I'll probably be playing this until midnight or even later. But if they had, you know, gone out of their way to play it and then couldn't, and then when they finally got in, you know, then it wasn't nearly as fun, I would think. Uh, another thing about the reviews, though, and and once again, this is just me looking over math and coming up with assumptions based on the math. Ah, oh, nightmarish. Damn it! <laughs> right after I do the smash, right after I do wrenching smash, they 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 scare me off. Still recharging. 